I just thank you all enormously for this honour. It was just over a year ago that my agent in London, Sue Latimer, phoned me and she said, Jenny, are you near your computer and can you read this speech, um, this script, sorry. Um, and if you can, can you get to see the director at 3 o'clock this afternoon, it was 11 o'clock? I said, possibly, if he's in London, what's it about? She said, oh, it's about the king and a speech therapist, I thought, great. And I started reading, and of course I had the same reaction that people seem to have to the film, I just found it incredibly moving. And now I'm standing here. But it's only thanks to the most extraordinary people, Sally Turner, who's right there, who um, <laughs> made sure we didn't go wrong on so many aspects of this film, and supported me throughout, and um, all my amazing crew, who suffered an English winter and a ridiculously short period of filming and a silly budget. Um, <laughs> but there's somebody else who's phenomenally important, and it's John Bright of Cosprop. And actually, what I really want to say was that without Cosprop and the other costume houses, Flame Tour Bay and Torquay, who supplied uniforms at ridiculous prices. Angela at Angels, who coped with um, the demands of the uniforms that you know we see, but are not easy to rent, um, not easy to find. And without them, we could not have made this film. And here in Los Angeles, of course, I know Eddie from Weston, who's been lauded tonight, but also <laughs> Powell's costume, repeat performance, um, American costume. <laughs> we couldn't make films like The King's Speech without the costume master. Thank you for letting me say that.